Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. We often tell you about government wrongdoing and bundled bureaucracies, but not this morning. A mom in southwest suburban Makina reached out to us with a story involving blueprints, a building permit, the mayor, and an inspector. Oh, and as our Tim McNicholas shows us, the central character in this story, a nine-year-old boy sure to put a smile on your face. This is one of my hammers that I have. Of all the tools in Jameis and Tyler's box, and some safety glasses. His imagination is most valuable. His friends are imaginative too. Me and my friends we were like, oh, we should build a fort. Well, the boys decided they wanted to build a fort in my yard. At first, mom thought that idea might be a little too ambitious. To try to deter that, we said you couldn't do that unless you had a permit from the village. But the boys were more determined than she knew. You see, Jameson has severe asthma which can sometimes be triggered by the cold weather. And lately, thanks to COVID, the friends are playing outside often. They thought a fort might be a good spot for a Why break and might even have some windows to keep the air flowing. Just in case, like, it's really, like, hot or cold outside, we could just go in there, chill. We we're kind of in a rush to do this. So the boys took measurements of an area in the yard and brought them to the mayor's house around the corner. A couple weeks later, the mayor summoned them at Mokina's Village Hall. After a meeting with a building inspector, the permit was approved. I mean, I'm proud of them and I'm shocked at the same time. I was like, how did I just get that? During such like a cruddy time, like it just brought so much joy to them. It was a bright spot in Mrs. Tyler's year too. She says she hasn't been able to work as a substitute teacher at all this school year. It restored my faith in humanity because it just really was such a simple thing to do, but made the boys so happy. Pair of pliers. Now they need to start the building phase. Jameson had $17 saved up, but quickly learned that wouldn't cut it. We would need building supplies at this point, um, maybe a couple contractors to come and guide us along. If someone does wind up helping. I just like hitting stuff like into wood. It's fun. Jameson and his imagination will be there to lead the way. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. And by the way, the Tyler said the village didn't even charge them the typical permit fee. So they're learning early that $17 doesn't go that far in the real world. But they're also <laughs> learning you got to take matters into your own hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. They did that. I mean, some future handymen and civil servants. That's awesome. Yeah, and I have a feeling somebody will probably <laughs> see the story. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a follow-up. Yeah, yeah. there will definitely be a follow-up. <laughs> and we'll we'll have this, uh, it sounds like a fun little fort that they're going to be building. Mm -hmm. cool we'll stuff. have to check back in with them and see it when it's totally done. Let's hope so.